Alrighty. I guess the reason why I, I missed the first one was because I didn't focus on his face. Like, if you miss it, too many of these, it, it's not too bad if you miss these, I guess, because um, they sort of disappear, if I remember correctly. I do, don't I? Yes. Um, okay. Uh, no, nothing? No ghosts? I guess not. There is this, this creepy doll here. Does the doll do anything? Can I photograph the doll? Perhaps like this? Can I take some pictures back home to mom? Nope, that did nothing. I thought it might. It's worth a try. So, what do we get here? Hold down ZR to pick up. Uh, oh, stop. So you can stop because, again, sometimes... I don't, I don't know when the first time is going to happen, but eventually some hands are going to try to grab me. And if you stop halfway through, the hands will sort of miss, and then they won't try again, because they only do this once. They, are, they, they don't put much effort into what they do. You got the key on red keychain. Why wasn't this here before? I was, I was just here now. It might open the door from before. Go back to Hisoka. Okay. I, I, okay, game. I know exactly where she is. It's like one room away. Alright. Go back to Hisoka and open the door. Oh, crap. Uh... Picture. These look awful, by the way. If these were actual real photographs, they'd be crap. At least I, I'm getting them and I'm getting the points. That's what matters. Quick reactions. Is this a window? Oh, I can check it. I see soil on the other side of the boards. The walls and ceiling are warped and they're all creaking. The entire building must be buried. Buried? Um... Yeah, well, yes, they did mention the building was buried. Uh, we are at that manor, right? But at the same time, we did enter through the base of the building, so maybe it's only partially buried? Perhaps that's it. And, uh, maybe, maybe I can finish my train of thought that I was trying to finish before. Like, the worst way to go, uh, the worst ways to go for me would probably be being drowned, followed by... Well, worse than being drowned would probably be being buried alive, because it, it would take a while for you to die, and the panic would be just excruciating. I guess being burned alive is not very nice either. What else? Anything that's painful and lasts for a long time? Probably up there, yeah. Hey. Uh, okay. You have nothing to say to me? Alright, I have the key. You open the door with the key on red keychain. Okay, Sagashite Mimashu. Let's, let's, let's search around, I guess. Um, uh, what do we have? Any ghosts? Anything? Okay, nope. Tutorial Phantom Expose. Yeah. The camera obscura will react to items that are normally hidden from the eyes of the living. You can bring those items back to this world by photographing the place they were taken from with the correct angle and position. Okay. So, the correct angle... Um... Oh, I see. Like such. And now they are back. これが依頼のもののようね。夜になる前に帰りましょう。ここはあまりいい場所じゃない。Leave the abandoned inn with his. That's the best objective we have had in. Excuse me. Ever since this um, this whole thing started, the alcove wall has come loose, revealing black soil beneath behind it. This whole room must be buried. Okay. All right.
I mean, this this opens up. There must be something inside, right? Because so far we we've collected zero items. No, nothing inside. Are you for real? Okay, game. So much for exploration. Well, we are on chapter one. There's no reason why there would be exploration. God damn it. Uh, ghost. Oh, picture. Caught you there, peering man. I caught you. Creepy. Creepy but fun. It's not that scary. I... Um, I was wondering if this game would be scarier than... Okay. Like, depending on where you follow them, yes. That could happen too with regular people, it doesn't have to be ghosts. But, um... I'm sure this is not going to come up or be incredibly important later on. And I'm sure this is not a smoking gun, if you... Oh, what is this? If you will. The windows in this hallway have all been nailed shut. They have. Perhaps to ward off the debris. Can we go up here? Or is this still barred off by invisible plot walls? Wow. Okay, so she teleports back to me to tell me, no, let's, let's not go that way, let's go this way. There's sunlight there, you know, because I sort of enjoy the sunlight when it comes to... horror games? Okay. I, I, yep, I didn't get this one. Another peering man, I guess? Where'd you guys go? This is a small room. I mean, I know you go through walls and such, but still. Ghosts will try to attack or grab you. There you go. That'll teach you. The ghost recoiled when you took a photograph of it. It did. Maybe taking more will exercise it for good. Okay, fighting ghosts. By the way, where the hell is Hisoka? Why isn't she helping me? Why is there only one camera obscura? Shouldn't we have brought more? Photograph a ghost's weak points, that's the circles, to deal damage to them. To the catcher area, the rectangle in the center of the screen, is your area of attack. You cannot take photos if you are out of film. Makes sense. Press X to enter photo mode. Or perhaps we could sort of advance the camera obscura into the 21st century and have it come built in with some sort of, you know, digital device to record those photographs, such as, say, an SD card. Is that it? Something like that. Press X to enter photo mode. What targets? Okay. So you're trying to evade my my picture, is that it? Okay. Ooh, and now there's some circles. Oh, I see. And what and I know what, what you're trying to ha make happen here is I have to try and uh, and get all the circles on screen, I assume. Like, on, uh, it's a little hard to control this. When... Okay, let's not do it like this. Like this. That should be a good one. There we go. What else? It's okay. Uh, what? If you, if you just change those quickly, I can't read them. Tutorial Spirit Fragments. Spirit fragments break off when a ghost takes damage. After a time, they are reabsorbed. Photograph the fragments before that happens. Okay. Targets and shutter chance. When five or more targets are in view, taking a photograph will knock back the ghosts. The capture area will go red during shutter chance. 
Keep adjusting your position so that you have at least five targets, including ghosts and spirit fragments, in view to trigger shutter chance. That's a little difficult. Uh, use ZR. To attack the ghost. And now that there are more fragments... Like, okay. Now there's, now I can have five, because there's, like, his elbows and then two floating thingies. Take that, Mr. Ghost. Find ghosts uh, indicated by this spirit filament, the red marks. Uh, what, what filament, I'm sorry? Fatal frame and fatal time. Oh, fatal frame. That's what gives the name to the game in uh, North America. When the capture area flashes red as a ghost is attacking, you can take a fatal frame shot. You need to capture the ghost mid-attack. Apart from the knockback effect, fatal frame shots trigger fatal time when you take when you can take photos in close succession without using film. Okay. Fatal frame shots are very useful when spirits are too close to you to trigger shutter chance. Alright. So basically I need to wait for it to attack. Is that it? Can I there you go. Is that it? That seemed good. Alright. Let's do this again. Attack range and attack power. The camera obscura only has an effect on ghosts within a specific range. Ghosts that are too far will not take any damage. Okay. The bigger the, the target circle, the more damage the camera will deal. Oh, okay. So, yes. It's, this is a lot to remember, especially for a horror game. Get closer to the ghosts for more powerful shots. I can understand that. Let's shoot it. And now he'll release some some fragments of something or another. Deal more damage. Get closer. Like this. No, that didn't really work. Perhaps... Let's try a fatal frame thing. That was... Okay. That, that was not how it... I guess I, I did it a little bit too soon. So perhaps now we wait, because there's sort of a recoil after after they... Can you attack me? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to practice my, my fatal framing. No? Okay, fine, I'll just take a picture of them. So that you release some, some of your friends, the fragments. Alrighty. And now, if you go into the wall, I can't really do much. Friend? Friend? Oh, okay. There you are. Fatal frame, there you go. Fuck you! Multiple times. Good, good job. Alright. Now I'm gonna try to get those circles all in the frame and shoot them. Alright, there's some more now. There's four targets. I don't know what's happening. Okay, he seems to be dead. Three words have never been spoken. We, we should never have come to this place. Can we uh, change our line of work, please?
あの先生先ほど黒沢さんがいらっしゃってああひそかが来たのか見つかったそうです本当か受け取っておきました So, uh, we meet Hideo Kojima, much, a much younger Hideo Kojima. While learning about uh, shadow reading from Hisoka, Yuri used the ability to retrieve an album of post-mortem photographs from a ruined inn on Mount Hikami. The album was requested by a certain Ren Hojo. Is this Ren? Because he was Dr. Hojo, right? As Ren woke from a bad dream, he found himself tormented by uncertainty. Was it really just a dream, or a suppressed childhood memory? This question was, uh, has plagued him for some, some time, yeah. It's, it's, it's plagued him. Oh, and that's it. That's, that's the end of the chapter, cool. First drop, cool. So, oh, I assume we have some items in our possession? Uh, herbal medicines and sacred waters? I guess uh, from not using them we get extra points, that's kinda cool. And we are now- have we always been uh, scored on this, or? I don't know. But now, ah, so now we begin our uh, second chapter. But I, I feel like we've we've trekked enough for uh, for one session. So um, I guess I'll see you. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, and uh, feel free to subscribe if you're interested in this kind of supernatural stuff with me. And uh, like if you enjoyed what you watched. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>